Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fortnite. That is one big tree and it's probably going to sprout a lot of different saplings. Just before we talk about those reality saplings, it's time for a quick plug from our sponsor, Razer. So, this month we're talking about the Barracuda family of headsets. And specifically today, the Barracuda Pro headset. This thing is sick. It's got this really cool feature called dual wireless where if you use the 2.4 gigahertz dongle on your PC for wireless audio, that's great. If you also have it plugged into your phone for bluetooth you can actually press one button on it to quickly swap between them if you happen to suddenly get a phone call which i think is so impressive in addition to that the headset does also have wireless microphones so most gaming headsets will have like a little boom mic like a stick and a little blob on the end and then you have like a bit of foam on it not the Barracuda Pro. The Barracuda Pro literally has two microphones at the front, here and here, and it listens to the area where your mouth is, and it has two levels of noise cancelling, so you can basically, like, choose how much you want to get rid of it, or you can turn that feature off entirely if you just want to let all the ambient noise in. Um, it's just so impressive, honestly. <laughs> and even the noise cancelling as well has 10 levels of noise cancelling for the actual playback on your headset. So if you want to learn more about those and grab one for yourselves, the link is in the description. Thank you again to Razer. And let's start talking about some Chapter 3, Season 3 goodness. So we've got this challenge here which says that we need to plant or summon reality saplings by using reality seeds. So what it is, is you're going to come over towards the giant tree here. And there are going to be these large bulbs. So I'll show you one of those in just a moment. And then all you need to do is you basically just need to throw this in a different direction by picking up the weeds. Uh, and once you've got rid of the weeds, then it's actually going to produce a weapon for you in the following game. So this is a plant that I dropped in the previous match so i ran over got a bulb i threw it down and i've come back tidied the area and i've now just gotten a rare weapon for it so this is almost a bit like the i guess it's almost a bit like the uh the tents in a way it's sort of like an altered version of that and that bad boy right there is the sort of thing you are looking for so it's a giant pink bulb with a little blue uh sort of like particle effect coming out the top of it and all you have to do is just simply enough damage in order to break this bad boy open so if i just quickly do that oh go on I can't actually see the health bar from here. Oh, geez. It actually has a lot more than I thought. Oh, maybe maybe harvesting tools can be quicker. Oh, it's way quicker. And look, you've got all these seeds that just pop up out of nowhere. And all you've got to do is just throw one over here. That will grow, and it's ready for you in the next game. It does seem as though each ball gives off at least two or three um, two or three seeds. So you can actually get this challenge done with relative ease. Of course, this is just going to be a very highly busy area. And I'm about to die. Get ready for it. Bam. Tell you what, I did more damage than I thought I would. <laughs> if you did find this video helpful, then be sure to leave a like on it. And especially be sure to use code in the little wood in the item shop for the beginning of the new season when you have the battle pass. Cheers for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.